Hey guys, welcome back to Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Blondie here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a DIY cat using popsicle sticks. And a couple other things too. But it's mostly popsicle sticks, and in case you guys did not know, I love cats, and I love crafting and painting. So this is my one going to be one of my favorite videos to make. So let's get right into it with the materials that you're going to need. So the first thing you need is six jumbo size craft sticks. You can find these at any craft store or Walmart. Target probably has them or just Amazon. Um, you might also call them tongue depressors or ice cream sticks, but I call them popsicle sticks. So just so you know, whenever I say that, that's what I'm talking about. You will also need two pipe cleaners, any colors you want. Um, I chose blue and brown, but you can choose any colors you want. And you will need some paint. I just use Apple Barrel. It's You can find it at Walmart, and there's a lot of different colors to choose from. It's a really good craft paint, and this is acrylic, by the way. And I chose the color Pool Blue. You will also need a medium-sized paintbrush, or small, depending on how, how you like your paintbrushes. This one's just a half inch, and um, it's from Walmart. You can also find it at any craft store, um, Target, probably Amazon. Well, of course, Amazon. And basically, a lot of places have paintbrushes. You will also need a marker, color of your choice. Um, I chose a paint marker in the color brown. Paint markers are really fun to use, and they are really pigmented and look really nice. But if you don't have any paint markers, you can just use any other marker. And you will also need some craft foam, which I found at the craft store, but you can probably also find it in other places too. And I just cut out this oval shape and two small triangles of the same size to be the ears. And this next material isn't really needed, but it is a paint palette to put your paint on. If you don't have a paint palette, you can use paper plate. That's what this is. And... You can use a piece of glass, a piece of paper, anything you can put paint on. It'll do. And the last material that you will need is a hot glue gun. Um, just so you know, make sure, well, make sure you ask your parents' permission before using a hot glue gun. And if you're not allowed to or don't have one, you can just use regular white school glue and it will work just fine. I just like to use hot glue because it's a little bit faster drying. And if you are using a hot glue gun, of course, make sure you be careful because they are very hot, hence the name. But with that little disclaimer out of the way, it is now time for the first step of our project. Also, make sure you're working on a surface that you can work on that, like, um, you won't get any paint on. Obviously, my table has lots of paint on it, but I'm going to be using this, um, the back of my paper because it's flatter and easier for me to use. You can also use a piece of cardboard. So um, first you're gonna take two of your popsicle sticks and um, line them up just like that um, next to each other. If you want your cat to be a little bit chunkier, you can use three or even four, but I'm just gonna do a regular sized cat for this one. So I only have two. So for this step, um, this is where you are putting the legs on the body. So these are the legs, and you just want to make sure they're evenly spaced and they're where you want them. You can put them closer together, farther apart, whatever you want to do, because this is your project. But I'm just going to put mine evenly spaced because that's how I want to do it. But my next go-to option would be to put them a little bit closer to the one next to them but I'm just gonna make them all evenly spaced. Now you're just gonna go ahead and put some glue right where you wanna glue your um, legs and make sure that everything's all even how you want it. And just go ahead and stick it on. And if you're using hot glue, be careful because the hotness can come through the wood sometimes. So make sure you're a little bit careful of that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and glue all my legs on and I'll be back when I'm done. If you're using regular school glue, just remember that it won't dry immediately, so you might have to make this an overnight project. Okay guys, so once you have all of your legs glued on, 
then take your two pipe cleaners and you're going to twirl them together. So basically, in case you don't know how to do that, just take them like this and then fold the one over the other and then fold the other one over again and then they're held together like a little hook and then you can just start twirling them together like this until you're all done. Next, you're just gonna cut it to your desired length. You can leave it at the length it is, but I'd like my tail to be a bit shorter than this, so I'm just gonna do that. Sorry guys, earlier I forgot to mention that you might need scissors. And with your remaining end, just fold it over a tiny bit so that it does not come unraveled. And then you're just gonna glue it right here, or you can do it on either side, but I'm gonna do it on this side. And make sure you're gluing it on the back of your cat. Okay, you're just gonna set that for a side for a minute. Set that aside for a minute. I accidentally said that completely wrong. And bring out your foam pieces. And if you don't have foam, you can use cardboard. But if you have foam, then I recommend you use it because it's a little bit easier to use and it comes in different colors. Now you're just gonna glue your ears on just like that with your hot glue or regular glue, whatever you're using. And I'll be back when I'm done with that. All right, guys, and once that dries, we'll be ready to draw on the face. And I won't make you wait the whole time it dries, so the next clip will be when it's dry. Next, you're just going to glue your cat's head right here on the front of your cat. Now, once everything is all dry and ready, it's time to paint. And like I said earlier, you can use whatever color you want. I just recommend matching your pipe cleaners to it so that it all looks like it fits together. All right, my cat's all painted, and I'm just going to wait for the paint to dry now. And guys, if you have colored popsicle sticks, you can totally use them too. Once your paint is dry, just use your paint pen or marker to add the details. Just go ahead and add the little toe marks and the stripes. I'll be back to you guys when the stripes are on. All right, it's all done, and I added the facial details too. And you can also position the tail in different ways since the pipe cleaner is wire. Well, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to stay tuned for more videos like this. I really hope you try out this craft. Bye!